Hi there and welcome. I'm on Canva. Uh, you can have a free Canva or a paid Canva account. That's fine. What I'm going to show you today is how you can take a certificate and Canva generates lots of certificates and fix it so that you can use it for your custom certificate, which is an activity in a Moodle course. Now, teachers can do this, of course, if um, they use Moodle. So notice uh, what's here. I can make changes, change the name of my certificate or leave it. Of course, I will remove the name. OK, so this is for Moodle. So remove that. You don't need it. Uh, add the text that you want. OK, this may not fit you. Um, change this okay um, to whatever you want or simply remove it okay we're going to take out the names you don't need any of this you could also remove this of course but let's leave it we could add something to it and i'll show you how that's done we can also add information so uh, we could remove this as well all right so everything that you want in your certificate uh, actually, all you need is um, to add the image that's here. That can't be added to uh, your activity in Moodle, your custom certificate. All right, but you can play around with it. Um, let's keep this. We're going to go into... Sh uh, by the way, you can also change the colors here in this particular one. So you've got a few uh, things that you can change in Canva, depending on the certificate that you choose. OK, so let's say this is it. We're going to go into download and download this. Uh, notice um, you can have the size that you want and uh, go into download. OK, so we've got it. Now we're going to go into our course. So this is my course. I'm going to turn editing on because I want to add an activity. And I've added under certificates of completion. So obviously it's going to be a certificate of completion. Now, this will depend on the activities. So it's really important that you set your activities. For example, if I go into vocabulary here, let's hope I have an activity. Make sure that, um, let's say the joys of traveling, that you set your activity to have completion conditions which means that you need to have requirements and passing grade in my case. All right, so we've got that. Make sure that you do have that. Let's go back into the demo course and into my section called Certificates of Completion. Going to hit Add an Activity or Resource Activities and notice what you have here. Course Certificate and Custom Certificate. You're going to choose Custom Certificate. You're going to add a name. Okay, you can have a description that you can display it or not. Uh, let's go into options, email students. I always like to email students, but that's up to you um, and how you want it. Notice send to the browse and forest file download, uh, email teachers. Yes, um, required minutes. You could have that. I'm not going to have it. Print protection. Yeah, you don't want them to be able to print it, modify it or copy it. And for certificate language, uh, in this case, yes, English, but you might not want to. And then restrict access. Now, I forgot to mention one very important aspect that I want to add as a condition, and that's course completion, which I haven't done. So go into course completion. Very, very important. And um, set everything up. So course completed when all the conditions, in this case, activity completion, going to select all as a condition. OK, and then save changes. This is really, really important. It's an important step to take. So let's go back into course, into certificates and this section. And now I'm going to go into certificates, go into the settings and make this change. The restriction, restrict access, going to add, notice, uh, course completed. Wasn't here before. And then notice you need to say yes or no. Okay, that seems kind of redundant. Okay, and then save and display. Right. 
Next, next we're going to go into uh, edit certificate. Okay, remember that, edit. And go through this if you need to change, make the changes. Uh, now, notice here there are elements, background image, or you can just add image, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to choose background image, but both work. And, and then add. Okay, now I need to add an image, right? Okay, so I'm going to drag and drop the image that I added. The certificate, there it is. And save. And continue. All right, so let's see what else we have here. So we've got the background image, uh, but that's not enough. We need to go on here. More features. Okay, so in this case, we're going to save it and not go to save as. Okay, so now um, we add, oh, we can take a look at the re. But um, notice here, no image. We are going to choose course image. Okay, we'll need to do that. Otherwise, it won't show. Now it'll show. That was the step that I was missing. Now let's take a look at the reposition and we'll see the size. Now, now it's here. Okay, so the size is wrong. All right, so this is what we should add here. 297, um, and I think this was 210. Alpha channel, okay, position, we're fine here. Save changes, and this should make it smaller. There, we got it. Okay, now we'll add the date. Uh, so this data is probably presented to, now we'll add the name. Okay, so let's go back into edit certificate and we're back to the actual size. And now we're going to go into course name and then we've got um, course name. Now we've got student name, student name. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, student name should also be 30. Okay, and uh, let's save changes. Of course, you can add colors. What else do we need? We've got the date. Um, you might want to add signature. Okay, we've got digital signature that you can add. Uh, for the teacher, user field. All right, I think that we've got everything we need right now except maybe text. Okay, so now let's go into reposition so we can add everything and not get confused. It's probably presented to Okay, Nelly Deutsch, um, and then the course. Whoa, that's a long course. Um, so we might make the course smaller. All right, I think that's better. The course to, to Nelly Deutsch for completing. So we need to add text. Let's go back into this for completing. Okay, so we're going into text and add element, and now we're going to have for completing. Okay. And then uh, for completing, I think we're with 15. Okay, as our, okay, save changes. And now let's go into reposition so we can add it. There I see the Nelly Deutsch also. Okay, so uh, Nelly Deutsch for completing. Let's scroll down here. Uh, for completing and then TESOL. Okay, you play around with that. So here we are back here. Uh, I would get rid of these lines. I mean, you don't want anything extra because as you saw, you could add everything. You just basically want uh, the frame and, uh, and this I would change certificate of completion. Okay, and that's what you want. You might also want to change the font. I don't like uh, special fonts, sorry. Um, certificate of completion. Okay, and you can also play around with that. So let's try that one. You can also change colors, by the way, uh, if you wish. Color of the text. Okay, completion. Certified. Make everything the same color. All right, and then share again. Remember how we shared it? You go into download and then download. Okay, and then it's there. Let's go back into the course now and make that change. However, as I said, when you make a change, um, you may lose everything. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're going to uh, get rid of that, delete that, 
and get the other one that I just added certificate there we go okay and then save and see what happens hopefully everything will still be there okay reposition cross your fingers and it's gone okay so what happens when it's gone like this it's not really gone let me show you what you do let's go back into edit certificate and into image because we need to take another step notice it says here no image even though they're image no image this is where you open this up and you go into you have to remember your image okay and now it'll show up so let's go back so you don't lose anything really okay so here we go but you'll need to put everything back in so we've got our name uh, for completing okay there's our name okay Nelly Deutsch for completing okay and now it's there is a full line now we're going to add the teacher's name so we'll go back into edit and open this up look for the teacher teacher name add element you don't need to add teacher's name you just need to add okay and I think the size will be the same as the date and uh, let's save changes and it automatically picks up the teacher's name name oh there I see this moved for completing and this one also moved and notice the teacher's name is the same and you can have the text under that teacher's name all right so um, let's move this around okay now we're going to go and get our certificate great I think it looks wonderful let's make sure that we save and close okay that's it for now Okay, so uh, let's save changes and notice no recipients yet. You'll see the recipients there. We can view our certificate and now we can make it larger. So, okay, there's our certificate. Lovely, right? I mean, just as a start, but I'm sure yours is going to be even lovelier, much lovelier than mine. All right, I hope I didn't bore you and you'll enjoy the process because it's a lot uh, more enjoyable to... Uh, create your own than to watch somebody else create theirs all right so now we're going to stop the screen sharing and we want the certificate we can't go in as a student because remember there are requirements so we're just um, going to view it notice our name will appear and don't be alarmed by that because whoever tries it sees their name so that's what you will see they will see participants will see their names and and that's it let me know if you have any questions and enjoy Moodle.